12-08-2024, we are in the book of Proverbs out of the Bible. We are in chapter 17, verse 15. He who condones the wicked, he who condone, condemns the just, are both an abomination to the Lord. Of what use in the fool's hands are the means? To buy wisdom, since he has no mind for it. He who is a friend is always a friend, and a brother is born for the time of stress. Senseless is the man who gives his hand in pledge, who becomes surety for his neighbor. He who loves strife loves guilt, and he who builds his gate high courts disaster. So he who loves strife loves guilt. If you love having difficulty thing, like having, if, if making things tough are what you do, then there's something that in you loves guilt. And then he who builds his gate high courts disaster. So what are, what kind of disaster are you courting is, is it's saying essentially that, you know, you're, you're dancing with disaster because you're, you're building your arc in a way. He who is perverse in heart finds no good, and a double-tongued man falls into trouble. And a double-tongued man probably is like Two-Face. To be a fool's parent is grief for a man. The father of a numbskull has no joy. A joyful heart is the health of the body, but a depressed spirit dries up the bones. The wicked man accepts a concealed bribe to, ver to pervert the course of justice. So anyone who is accepting bribes, that's why it's illegal to take bribes, um, because it, it's not only you know, not good for justice. It's, it's also, you know, not in the Bible. The man of intelligence fixes his gaze on wisdom, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. Interesting. The man of intelligence fixes his gaze on wisdom, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth, right? So is the earth flat or is the Bible telling us that the earth is not flat? And then what is the ends of the earth? Or are they on the end times? The eyes of the fool are on the ends of the earth. The end of the earth. Is that what it means? The ends of the earth. So what kind, like you're, you're focusing on all the different ways that the world could end, whereas the man of intelligence is looking for wisdom and how to enjoy the time that he has on this earth. A foolish son is a vexation to his father and bitter sorrow to, who, to her who bore him. It is wrong to fine an innocent man, but beyond reason to scourge princes. He who spares his words is truly wise, and he who is sherry of speech is a man of intelligence. Even a fool, if he keeps silence, is considered wise. If he closes his lips, intelligence. And so that's an interesting way to wrap up chapter 17. Now we're moving into chapter 18. And that is just, you know, better to be thought of the fool than to open your mouth and prove it. And I think that that's something that as we go into the week ahead, thinking of maybe that's what we should be thinking of in our conversations, letting people know that we're, we're solemn in our thoughts. We, we take the time to think things through and what we're doing is, you know, hopefully not foolish. Hopefully we're not acting out of uh, urgency and we're actually taking the time to think and not be the fool.